All right, hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be recovering my wife's steering wheel on her 2019 RAV4. Now to do this, we're gonna be using a custom made leather wrap steering wheel cover uh, that you actually have to hand sew on yourself. Now it sounds a little bit tricky, but it's super easy to do. We're gonna go ahead and go through the steps with you. Um, this is a really great option if you want to cover any damage that you have on your steering wheel and also add a more premium feel. It makes it feel like a brand new car. Um, it's really great. I've done it on my truck. I've done it on some other cars for customers and it really, really works well. So um, this is the kit. I actually ordered this one from Amazon. You can see the brand here is Icing, E-I-S-E-N-G. I've also used a company called Miwant. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and link a few of them down below. So if you guys are interested in doing this for your car, it really makes a big difference. And uh, the kits are cheap. They're, you know, depending on the material you get, they're between 40 and 60 bucks, typically somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and get started and get this installed. All right guys, so here's the kit. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. I'll show you what comes inside of it. So first things first, you get the leather wrap steering wheel. So we'll go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys that these are actually custom made for the vehicle itself. Um, so here it is, it's genuine leather. You can always tell that by the backing. You can actually tell that it is actual leather uh, versus uh, a uh, leatherette or some kind of vinyl. So this one is genuine leather. And as you can see, all you do really is you just line it up with the steering wheel as close as you can and then just go ahead and pull it on. In the beginning, you have to stretch this out pretty hard to get it to, to, to get it to come over. So just do that. Don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. Go ahead and stretch it out and get it pre-fit on here. All right. And you just wanna line all this stuff up as close as you can, guys, so that you're not having to deal with it down the road. Um, and that looks like it should do it. So basically, let me pull you guys in closer. So basically, it has this these cutouts that fit perfectly for your steering wheel, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew all this up all the way around the edges and everything else. And then at the last step, we'll take this and we'll tuck it in behind the panel itself. So. You want to get that as close as you can to it. You don't want a whole bunch overlaying because then it's going to be hard to tuck in. So you just want to make it so that it sits just a little bit off of it. And that looks good right there. Other side, same thing. And we're looking good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the next step and show you guys that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and try and line up this bottom piece as well. And again, not too much, right? But just enough so that everything fits in there nicely. And you want to do it enough so that it's not going to pull out either. So it's kind of a balancing act. You don't want to go too much, but you don't want to go too little. Just trying to trying to fine tune that and work it in as much as you can. All right, number two, you get a little instruction manual. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're not going to need it because you're going to see how to do it within this video. But this is nice to have. Shows you a little bit um, on how to do it. Then you also have double-sided tape. The reason they give you this is they actually recommend that you put it on the inside of this and um, then lay this on so that it kind of holds everything in place. If you just put a little piece back here, um, put a little piece back here and then it'll, it'll kind of hold while you're stitching it. Now I have never used that in the past and I'm not going to start now. Uh, it just seems to kind of create a little bit of a bulge and I don't like it. These things fit really well. And when you just sew it up tight, it holds really, really nicely. All right, and the last thing you get is this little pack here. So you get the sewing string itself and needles. There you go. You also get a tucking tool And this is used to actually tuck in at the end of it to tuck in the material back behind those plastic pieces. And lastly, you get some clippers um, and this you can use to clip your, clip your thread. 
and there we go. These were looking really bad. They actually shipped like this, which is obviously not gonna cut anything, but it's just off base, so just make sure you pull it back around, and now they work. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna work on the steering wheel. There is one, two, three panels that we're gonna have to sew up before tucking the stuff in. So I'm just gonna start on this lower panel here, um, and I'll work that in, work this side, and then I'll do the final one up top before we tuck everything in. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take our string, remove the needles. Now these are nice, they're not super, super sharp. Let's see if I can, they're not super sharp. They don't need to be. All we're gonna be doing is tucking this behind the thread that's already on the uh, steering wheel itself, the steering wheel cover itself. So um, again, let me see if I can zoom in any more for you guys on this. So as you can see, the steering wheel cover itself ha already has this line of thread sewn into it on both sides. So all we're gonna be doing is taking our thread and connecting those sides and cinching it tight. So it actually makes it super easy. Now guys, really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and try and tuck in the material uh, first. They actually say to try and do it, kind of fold it back and then poke it in. Um, that makes it actually really difficult. I get why they say that. They don't want you poking straight into the leather and damaging it, but just try and be careful. I like to just kind of force it straight onto the leather like this push it back behind the panel and then tuck it under. So there you go guys. As you can see, that looks perfect. Super clean, looks like factory installed. Um, so that looks really good. I'm actually gonna go ahead, and in the past I've sewn it first and then tucked in, uh, but that worked really well. I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck it in all the way around and then start sewing. This part gets a little bit tricky. If you can see here, I don't know if you can, if you can tell, but the plastic piece runs up and then there's another plastic piece here that kind of runs right at the steering wheel. So it gets a little bit tricky. There's a little bit of a line there you have to follow on this steering wheel specifically. Other ones are easier. This isn't bad at all. You just kind of have to work around that little spot. And then if you're not happy with it, you can kind of just massage it a little bit and it seems to lay down nice and flat. Okay, now we'll be doing the final side here. I'm actually gonna get out of the car, otherwise I'm gonna have to do, be doing it kind of left-handed and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out of the car. All right guys, so when I say that these are custom fit, I mean, it's the real deal. Like it tucks perfectly back under all the trim pieces. And then even lays in under the main part of the steering wheel by the horn. So it'll just lay in there perfect once it gets all sewn in. It looks super factory done and super nice. So we're gonna go ahead and start sewing now and get this thing all squared away. All right, now to get started with the sewing, you just wanna get some material, thread material out of this little holder. So, and I will just take as much material. So when I when I do this, you actually kind of double it up. Um, so you wanna get as much material as you think you'll need for the spot that you're working on. And again, it's better to have too much than too little. They give you plenty. Um, so don't be scared to you know use enough. All right, so I got the amount that I want. I'm just gonna go ahead and snip it. Then we're gonna take the thread. If you can see that. We're gonna take the thread, thread it through the needle. All right. Pull it to the where the ends come together, and we're just gonna tie a knot in that end, in that end piece. 
Uh, I like to do two or three knots with this because it's actually used to stop it from, from uh, coming through the material. So I like to just thicken it up a little bit. Um, the thicker you go, the more you do feel it, but I just like to have the uh, peace of mind knowing that it's not gonna come undone on me. All right, so that should do it. I actually just did two, and you can see the size of the knot there. That's two little uh, turns, and uh, we're good to go. So I'm actually gonna clip off the remaining piece here. Sorry about the focusing here, guys. There we go, go ahead and clip off the ends of this. And I'm ready to go. All righty guys, so I've got you looking from down at the pedals of the car. Because I like to start my first thread going through uh, the back here so that we don't actually have to feel it very much. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, start that initi initiated uh, little piece. So for the first one, I actually like to poke completely through the leather. So we'll line it up with where we wanna start. And I, poke it all the way through, pull it through, and as you can see, the knotting stops it right there. If you guys can see that, I don't know. Okay, so the knot stops it from going all the way through the leather. And now I'm gonna come back and start my first one here. Okay, now this will bunch up the leather a little bit. You'll see it do that okay so there we are and I'm gonna go back to the front and start working my way through Alrighty guys, so as you're working this, you wanna make sure you're keeping it nice and tight so that all this stuff stays together. And then it's really easy, you just go back and forth from one side to the other, looping under the string, pulling it through, making it nice and tight, go to the next string, pull it through, and you just go back and forth and back and forth all the way up. All right guys, so section number one is done. As you can see, it's all buttoned up, nice and tight, tucked in everywhere, up top. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and move down to this little one and then we'll finish up at the top and we'll be done. All right guys, so now we have two sides done. You can see everything tucks in really nicely. It's a little bit of a wrinkle, but as soon as it heats up, that'll lay down. Uh, same there. But everything else is looking really good. So just have this top piece to do and we'll be done. This one's a little bit tricky, right? Because this has this big flap. The sewing part doesn't start till there. So this will just have to kind of tuck back under. Um, so it's a little bit tricky, but we'll, we'll sort it out. So I think I actually am gonna use the double-sided tape on this piece here just to keep it down and then uh, start sewing from there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on those two pieces and then we'll get, get going on the sewing and we should be wrapping this up here pretty quick. All right guys, so we just finished the steering wheel. Go ahead and take a look at it. Came out beautifully. Feels way more premium than that little uh, rubber or a foam back steering wheel did. This feels absolutely great. As you can see, everything tucks back nicely right behind all of the plastic so it all looks like 
like it came from the factory like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the car real quick, spin this around so you guys can see just how good it looks, even though all I'm doing is threading needle through uh, some thread that was already there. But look at that stitching, guys. It looks like I'm actually someone that knows how to sew, and I am definitely not, but it came out super, super good. I'm really, really happy with it. Again, I've done this on a few other cars in the past. These tight spots always get a little bit tricky, so it's not perfect there, but overall, it looks amazing. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and link all of these uh, steering wheel covers down below in the description so you can click on them, go over to Amazon and find the one that fits your steering wheel. Um, they will be affiliate links, so I do make a small, small commission on it. I really appreciate it. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. Please make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with someone else who might enjoy it. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.